Hey guys, VST Tutorials. Um, this is going to be a follow-up video on my last one um, for recreating the string synth from Ghost and Stuff by Dead Mouse. Um, I'm just going to jump right into this and show you an example of it, and we'll get started. Alright, so let's get into making this. I'm just going to initialize the patch that it's on. Um, yep, we we'll go to show devices and open up a. Well, I open up a line mixer. Um, then open up an instance of Thor Polysonic Synthesizer. Um, nothing you have to do up here. Uh, go, go to Show Programmer, then open up a multi oscillator. Leave the first octave at four. Set the detune mode to random two, and just bring up the detune amount a little bit to 28. Next, open up another multi oscillator. Set this one to three and leave that on random 1 and set this one's detune amount to 16 and we're only going to be using the first multi oscillator but I'll explain um, just how versatile this synth can be with that oscillator there so um, in the low pass ladder filter let's set the frequency to 5.38 Hold down shift. Alright. And because it's a string, it's going to have a little bit of a hissing sound to it, so you can afford to bring up the res. Um, I personally have it at 14. Um, so then the envelope set to 35. So, yeah. Just take or leave 35, 33. Alright, now this so far is a really quiet synth, but, so I'm just going to link these two into the low, the second um, filter, and then turn on the filter 2 to amplify or enable, just to boost the volume of it without having to add a maximizer and all that. So in the mixer, we're just going to turn the balance all the way to the left to zero, and that cuts out this oscillator, but um, this one seems to be more of a string synth, the way that it's programmed, and this one sort of gives you a good lead synth um, sound. So it's versatile for either oscillator one, a very, very convincing um, string, or oscillator two, which is more of a cheaper sounding string in case if you might want that sound. So in the filter envelope, let's move on to that. Um, set the attack to 69.8. Uh, leave the decay where it is. Bring the sustain all the way up to 0. Uh, 0. Set the release to 2.48. Alright, then in the amp envelope, set the attack to 110. Alright, then leave the decay where it is. Again, set the sustain all the way up to 0, 0.0. And then set the release to 705.
All right, now just to make this sound a bit more full, we're going to open up a stereo imager and set the low band to 30. and then set the high band to negative 20. And this just brings the low band that was so it's wider and more full and that high band is really really piercing and it's very very sharp. And just for good measure let's open up a unison filter and just bring down the dry wet to about 30. You know, that's a little high. Uh, 20. So, just just to still keep all of the levels full, just put that filter in there. Um, and next, let's open up an RV7 digital reverb. Uh, keep, keep the setting at hall set the size to 24 um, set the damp to 42 and set the dry wet to where is it 28 Alright, well, that should just about be it. Um, I'll show you an example of both halves of that synth, though, so you get what I mean. That's oscillator 1. oscillator too. So both halves of that are very very useful. Um, I personally like the octave set a little bit lower on the second oscillator just because well at least in my speakers the the bass is just really really full so I prefer lower octaves with that one. So <laughs> Hope this helped you out some. Um, not sure what tutorial I'm going to be doing next, but I'm going to be doing quite a few over the next couple days. Um, so, yeah, be on the lookout for those. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to leave a comment below, and you have a nice day.